Okay, so I promised you this earlier and I want to talk to you about crank arm length and the overhype or trend that was going around most of last year saying that that long crank arms are too long for short people and that if you are short you should run cranks that are 20 30 40 millimeters shorter to prevent you from overextending your knee and having knee injuries so I don't disagree with a treatment plan that includes adjusting your bike and fine-tuning your bikes components to fit you better which might include shorter crank arms as that solution but what I'm saying is if you are not having any issues with your 170 maybe 175 crank arms why are you going to go to 160 155 crank arms so i just happen to be riding on my dropper post so now this dropper post drops me down 40 millimeters so in reverse that would mean that these crank arms are 40 millimeters longer than my 170 so they would be something crazy so this is how my knees look with that 40 millimeter drop okay could i ride like this for a long time probably might it damage my knee and hurt my knee after a while it might but do i need to uh, really drop a, a lot of money if you will and get a crank arm that's that much different if it's only 10 millimeters different 20 millimeters different so here's my seat post back up and here's the bike fitted to me with my 170 millimeter crank arms i'm fine with that it does not bother me it doesn't even bother me when it's in a low position i mean for a short period of time i wouldn't want to do that for a full century but for a short period of time it's fine and on your mountain bikes there's other benefits of a shorter crank arm and i get that you've got a lower bottom bracket you don't want to get pedal strike and shorter crank arm length means that you will be less likely to smash your pedals into the rocks and that makes sense but for a gravel bike, I just don't see the need. And even for a mountain bike, if you're not having any of those issues, I haven't had a pedal strike with my mountain bikes in years. Yes, I do get them every once in a while, it happens. You're just, you got your pedal in the wrong position, basically, and or you're riding something super technical where you don't really have a choice but to be pedaling right there and then it you strike a rock or a root or something and that sucks but that could happen whether your crank arms are 10 millimeter shorter or full you know or the regular size i don't think the 10 millimeters really mitigate that uh, and you know all the time if you're if your if your crank arms are if your bottom back bracket is that low you just have to make sure you keep level at that point so that just i'm just rambling on about this and i'm sorry but i just don't want to give in to this trend or let you guys um see the reality of this shorter crank arm hype it's hype it's not real and there's no need to go out and buy 155 160 crank arms because you're 5'5 five five, you're 5'6 five these i'm 5'7 these are 170 i'm fine according to the charts i should be with 155 i think or 160 and i i can't even imagine ever having crank arms that short and i wouldn't so 
I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to make this video right now about that and post it up there. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekends riding. If you get out and ride during the week, enjoy that too. It's beautiful outside. I'm actually getting too hot with all this winter gear on. Talk to you guys later.